U.S. lawmakers aim for crypto regulatory clarity with proposed bill for putting the screws to the SEC. The framework under the bill would allow certain tokens to qualify as digital commodities if they were decentralized and crack down on the SEC's previous approach to crypto. U.S. Ho House Republicans push for crypto oversight with bill to make the SEC play ball. Draft legislation from key committee chair represents this year's most significant proposal for how the federal government might build guardrails around the digital asset sector. Republican lawmakers distinguish crypto commodities and securities in draft bill. The proposal attempts to set out clear roles for the, S the US SEC and CFTC. Guys, let's go and check this video out. Watch right till the very end so you can see exactly what's happening out there in the market here. How's it going? What's up? What's happening there? Bless your beautiful souls. Welcome to the Crypto Bliss Show. Once again, thank you for being here with me on the channel. I'm Kiara DeClass and I will be smashing through some information on this show today. So make sure to watch the entire video because we have some pretty awesome news that has come out uh, recently. So let's go and have a look and see what that is all about. Thank you for being here with me on the channel, guys. You guys can see I've been pumping some crazy stuff here. Guys, if you want to know how to make big money in crypto, um, and I'm on my journey to do that, make sure to watch this video right here, okay? Because that is going to blow your mind out the water um, very, very deeply so. So, hope you are all having lots and lots of fun on this wonderful Monday here in uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, and in South Africa. It's pretty cold all around. Um, also, it's not freezing, it's pretty cold. So we're in June, we're coming up to the winter solstice, which is 21st of June. Hallelujah. And then the sun starts to come back down to down towards us because I'm, I'm not a winter person at all. I don't like winter. Even though I was born in May, I'm not a winter person. Um, so I want to see down in the comments below just your country's flag, please. I would love to see where you are from in the world. I would love to know where all my subscribers are. Just put your country link down in the comments below. Please do that for me. I would love to see that where you guys are from. Guys, the sooner we get to a thousand subscribers, I will give an awesome prize to my community at that point. So let's get our subscribers up to 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible there, please, guys. I really appreciate every single one of you that have been on the channel and are here and continue to support the channel. You are all rock stars. Really appreciate you all, you blessed beautiful souls. Okay, so let's not waste any time today. Let's get on to the usuals. We are still pretty much sitting flat. We're only down 0.9% in the entire crypto market cap at 1.181 trillion. 29 billion in trading volume has fallen quite a lot. Bitcoin is below the 27,000 level again. In the past seven days, it fell 4.2%. Ethereum is still holding above 1,800, but it is back below 1,900 to 1,873. BNB is sitting just tight above 301, so that's very interesting, that one. XRP had a smash up. Guys, I um, I had to take profit in my XRP, and it took profit. I took, I took profits. I took my profits. So that's the point of setting your, your stop losses and your take profits, so that when you're not watching or you're not available, like I'm doing this video now, and if the market had to pump, you know, it would hit a take profit, hopefully, and if it had to dump, it would hit my stop loss, and I would be protected, and I would manage my risk. So I hope you're all managing your risk very, very well in your trading with me. So Lido, 1873, Cardano, 37 cents, Dogecoin, 7.1 cents, Solana, 21.63. Uh, Solana seems to have been one of the few that are pumping. I did add some more Solana to my bags, Make sure to hit that notification bell because I'm going to hit you later on um, with a very, very awesome video um, relating to Solana and how to make more Solana and more of the top cryptos. So stay tuned for that. Hit that notification bell. Polygon, 88 cents. Tron, 88.1 cents. Litecoin, 93.36. Polkadot, 529. Avalanche, 1481. Uh, Shiba, 856. Uni 498, 644 chain link, and Cosmos 1068. So markets have pretty much been very, very flat for like maybe the past three weeks. 
since the Fed announced the, the last interest rates, that's when it was, it's just been really flat since then. And yes, it's come up and down a little bit, but more than anything, it's just flat. The Fear and Greed Index is still sitting at 53. It's this pretty much the same as what it's been for the past kind of two weeks, guys. So not much difference in there. Crypto bubbles have, there have been quite a few pumps against Bitcoin. Uh, XRP against Bitcoin, Lunacy against Bitcoin, XDC against Bitcoin. And there's a reason why XRP is pumping and I'm going to show you in a moment. Quant is pumping, Sand is pumping, Mana, uh, Tron, Render, Aptos, Immutable, Maker, USDT even is pumped up against um, uh, Bitcoin because obviously Bitcoin has fallen down a little bit. So a lot of green in the market today, which is pretty decent. Um, and it's telling us these are the things that you should be taking profit in against your larger coins. Um, so let's go and see if there's any news in the markets today. So here's dailycoin.com. Solana phone, do we really need a Web3 mobile device? Honestly, I'm going to say no at this point, but maybe in the future it might be very good. So let's just see. Okay. Binance Review, the crypto exchange carrying the blockchain industry. It literally is. Real world assets in blockchain. How can uh, real world assets liberate DeFi? Cardano road to $1. New protocols accelerating decentralization. Um, so this was all pretty much news from the weekend. So I wrote, uh, I saw those ones for you. And then Nike swoosh is bringing Polygon NFTs to EA Sports. I did read that out to you. Um, OKX proposes industry's first BRC30 token standard to enable Bitcoin and BRC20 token. That's pretty interesting. Thanks, OKX. OKX is really a phenomenal exchange, guys. And if you want to sign up using my exchanges that I am that I trade on and I invest with, then make sure to hit my links down below. You can get a $30,000 deposit bonus if you use my Bible link down there below. But in the meantime, um, OKX, you can also sign up there using my link and you will get yourself a sign up bonus there too. Go and check them out in the description below, guys. So let us go and see something here. So this is the article that I've actually been wanting to show you. Where is it? Not this one. This one, yeah. So remember I spoke to you guys a little while ago about the US lawmakers uh, aim for crypto regulatory clarity with proposed bill putting the screws to the SEC. So I spoke about this kind of last week a little bit, but I, I would like to touch base on that a little bit more. Is Biden's controversial Bitcoin mining tax dead or set to rise in the ashes? So first of all, that is dead. Okay, it's not gonna, it's no longer gonna stand. They're going to put in regulatory um, items in Congress, and they're gonna get through this through Congress. But the thing about this is now that Congress will have to decide on regulatory what will fit into the regulatory categories, and this isn't gonna be an easy overnight process. Okay, it's going to be at least a year, maybe two years even three years before any real regulatory clarity is in. But I'm pretty confident that they will put forward an initial bill that will set the foundation of US regulatory. Now, the reason that they've completely flipped the 180 degrees, I mean, you, there must, the Congress, American Congress must be screws loose, guys. Um, because at the end of the day, all of a sudden, because China and Japan are really, really pumping their liquidity into the crypto space, now uh, the US economy feels like they've been left out. So they've got FOMO. So now this is FOMO from their markets. But the Congress in America and the US lawmakers regarding crypto regulatory have been absolutely shredded to pieces by retail investors as well as institutional investors because they want to come into the space, especially institutional investors. They want to be in the space, but they can't be in the space because there's no regulatory cl uh, clarity or guidance to for them to come into the space. So very, very interesting. Um, CSTC commissioner says proposal to reassess risk management could consider crypto. Guys, they're telling us it could, but it's going to. It's inevitable and it's undoubtable that it will happen. What Senator Warren Elizabeth reportedly took advice from Wall Street uh, short seller Mark Cohodes, who cashed in on the collapse of Silvergate and Signature Banks. Well, isn't this insider trading? This is complete insider trading. So the woman that is trying to, the congressperson that is trying to, um, you know, stifle crypto, 
is literally taking part in the crash of crypto. So very interesting there what's happening. FTX debtors object to Genesis critical claims estimate of zero dollars. Pro XRP attorneys phone hacked to promote law token. FTX lawsuits see crypto firms, influencers dial back endorsement deals. Metropolitan Museum of Art to return 550k donations from FTX. And the Ripple case, pro XRP lawyer tips outright SEC victory at less than 3%. So the SEC are fucked. They will not win this case. Okay. It's very unlikely that they will win this case. So that means that XRP will win this case. And essentially that is a massive win for the entire crypto um, community and space because that's what we want. So again, the US has a renewed urgency to regulate crypto post FTX um, podcast. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are coming into regulation. That is going to happen. Things will grow in the space. Okay. So no more, no more market update there. No more news for us for now. Let's just go and shift into the charts. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. That would be really appreciated. You guys know that it helps the algorithm here while I drink my green tea. Thank you all. Mm. <sighs> Delicious. You guys know I love my green tea uh, and my musky coffee and my hot chocolates. I haven't had a hot chocolate in a while, but I'll have one soon. and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, Dixie, of course. First, first things first. Always the Dixie. Guys, let me know what you think will happen with US, US regulatory um, outcomes in the comments down below. I would love to know from my community what they believe. So guys, the dollar is already trying to push back up. It already bounced off of this level here. We are coming down so to the RSI point, so we could break through this resistance level. If we do manage to get through this very strong resistance zone with my blue circle here, which has got the 200 EMA, then the likelihood is we'll probably come test this 109, 110 level once again. Okay, so just be very cautious on that. Bitcoin dominance, what is happening in Bitcoin dominance? I actually haven't seen Bitcoin dominance this morning. So, wow, Bitcoin dominance is losing its dominance, which is exactly why the crypto bubbles were pumping, why altcoins are pumping. Um, well, a lot of altcoins have been pumping against Bitcoin especially. So now the thing is, we're coming to the oversold on the RSI. We're coming to a level of support on the RSI um, on the the actual chart. We haven't broken this line. So for me, we could actually just have a small retracement back up to the ribbon and then push back down again, push back up and then push back down. So there won't be terribly much pull down to the bottom, but a, a drop or a fall in BTC dominance. But what that means is is that. Bitcoin dominance is holding strong. Now, that is very, very powerful for us because essentially we do want to see Bitcoin holding some sort of strength, but we would also very much love to see the altcoin rally. Now, stocks, boom, pumping, guys, pumping. We just pump and we hit this level of resistance once again. Okay, look at where this level of resistance is now. So, guys, I don't know how much more this is going to pump. Okay, but I don't feel as though unless we close a very strong candle above here in volume with a good trade, um, with the RSI being reset down here, I don't feel as though we're going to go back up. If we do, here is the next resistance level, guys. That is the next level of strong resistance. So it's a long way away, up at 4,600. Okay, that is a very good, from where we are currently, a good 7%. Now, BTC. What has happened to BTC? Well, BTC has now officially broken here again. Now, in my video that I shared with you guys right here, this one, I did mention to you guys that if we were to take a trade from here, we were to take uh, profits more or less at this level. Look, we didn't even get there, but here's the candle that wicked pretty close up to there, right? That's why sometimes take profits don't always work. You must will be watching the market because if you did take a trade over here, you're probably sitting now break even in that trade. Okay. Because look at where I said, take the trade from there. This is your risk to reward ratio. So we're all the way back down at almost the entry level, which isn't healthy. We had a very, very strong buy here, but then all of a sudden we had a massive drop in sell, but very weak sell volume. The RSI said, okay, we're going to drop. So we, um, we were overbought. So we dropped, which is very strange guys. 
for me, this is showing me manipulation more than anything, not really anything else. So, guys, we do know that it is manipulated, can be manipulated. Um, and at the end of the day, most of the markets do, especially when the whales have all the capital in the world to just sell a couple hundred Bitcoin, make a move like this, and it affects other smaller people trading the market. So the point is, is to really try and build your liquidity as much as possible, as quick as possible, so that you can find a very, very good, beautiful position. Now, wow, where are we? This, this line here has pretty much kept that line. So we broke here. Are we going to come further down and test this box of support here down at the 26,390 level? Or are we going to be coming down to this zone somewhere here at about the 25,200 uh, level? Now, let's just see what happens here today, today, guys. We have been met with lots of resistance. The 200 EMA is keeping us down, plus the ribbon is keeping us down on the four hour time frame. Let us go and have a look at the eight hour. The eight hour, sorry to say, looks like it wants to pull down as well. The 12 hour, the 12 hour is a bit oversold. Well, it's still got a little bit of way to fall. Um, but you see here, we had a, a topping tail candle over here, which means that we were to reverse. That's on the 12 hours. So if you saw that coming, then we had two doji candles here and they were resisted by the EMA and the purple box. So guys, unfortunately, I'm going to say that the daily RSI should be coming back down to reset and hopefully we will pick up Bitcoin back at at least this price here, the 26,300, otherwise the 20, 25,200. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that notification bell for me. I really do appreciate you all. Remember your description in the description down below.